Hi, this is Mike from Mini PC Tech. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the B Max B1 Pro Mini PC. Comes out, but it's actually a pretty cool device for under $100. First of all, it is a full Windows Mini PC. It has 8 gigabytes of memory which is not expandable as far as I know. However, it comes with a 128 uh, gigabyte flash drive, which is expandable to an SSD. And I will show you that uh, in a moment here. we. the device so it comes with an Ethernet connection HDMI uh, two USB ports and there's the power and I guess there's the headphones it also has two more USBs and an extra thing for a, a chip for a flash drive now you also have um, the capability of, and you see it's very simple, it's got a little screw here that you just pop out. And you can, I'm not too good with screws, just give me a second, you can pop in an SSD here, an additional SSD, and it's fairly straightforward to put in. Um, I'm not sure personally that I would want to go to the expense of doing that, but if you already have it and you want the extra storage, it's there. If you're starting out at 128 gigabytes of fast storage isn't enough, you can add external drives. You can add uh, an extra chip, which isn't going to be really fast, but it's be good for storage um, it's there now continuing on here we have what else does it come with so you of course have your power supply it's a standard um, AC supply that as I showed you just plugs in right here and you've got a visa now now the visa mount is pretty nice. Now, why do you need a visa mount? The visa mount, let me make sure I'm showing you that. The visa mount allows you to pop this on the wall or even better, in the back of a lot of monitors. So you see it just has some screw holes here and then it just pops. You just put this on your monitor. slides right in and it holds on so this thing doesn't even take up space on your desk if you want it, don't want it to um, I own uh, five mini PCs uh, this is this is my fifth and the three Mac minis are sitting in a cabinet um, along with my the entertainment centers two of mine and one of my uncle's and the other mini PC is my uncle's that I'm managing for him and it just sits in a desk drawer. So it's actually, you know, it takes up virtually no space. And of course, you've got an HDMI cable, which you can make use of or not. Now, but you can get HDMI monitors fairly inexpensive. You can get nerd keyboard and mouse, fairly cheap, and you're on your way. Okay, so we're back. So what I've done is I've hooked everything up here. You've got the keyboard and mouse hooked up to wired um, USB ports. You have the power 
and that's going to a, a power strip down here and an HDMI connection to the TV. So one thing I'd like to say is it's a really good idea to spend the 15 or $20 to get yourself a wired keyboard and mouse. And the reason for that is unless you have a Mac mini, these things don't come up right away and detect, um, what do you call it, uh, wireless keyboards and mice uh, at first. So it's a good idea to do that. So now we'll go ahead and push the power button and the power button is located next to the power. And tell it, yeah, go on HDMI one and there it is. And you see it's coming up. Um, I had a misstep with this and I've actually configured um, the PC already. So we're gonna skip that step, but I wanna make sure that I cover a couple of things. While well, it's coming up, first of all, when you get a PC like this, it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. So I would strongly recommend that the first thing you do is, and I'll show you that in a second, is you go down to the uh, thing and you type updates and update the PC before you do anything else. And the same thing is possibly going to happen with some of the software there, like Chrome. Chrome was complaining that it needed to be updated. So let's go ahead and log into this. They typed in, okay. So what I mean is if you go down here, if you've ever used the Windows 11 machine, you probably know this. You go to the start button and you type updates. And one of the options is to check for updates. And if this thing has been sitting on the shelf for a while, oh, even before that, even before that, sorry, I'm not thinking. You want to make sure that your network and internet is configured when you start. So the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to, if you're, if you're not wired, is you're going to connect to a wireless network. Make sure you do that. And you see I'm up to date, but when I brought this up, it wasn't. So everything appears to be working here. Uh, if I go to Chrome, and just to show you, I'll go ahead and uh, go to YouTube. I don't have an external speaker hooked up, so I'm not sure if that's gonna work, but uh, we can go ahead and let's get rid of this thing here. Let's do it. Let's take on it and just go to YouTube. Just to show you that it has decent performance. Uh, I'll probably put up some other videos that show what it can do, but if we just type, um, let's say, uh, racing cars. And we can go down here and we have a video here. And again, I don't have sound. Oh, it's going through the TV, cool. Get this. Sorry. Dismiss. You see, it's it's pretty decent. We go ahead. The picture is actually pretty good. This is a nice 4K display, and it's able to to drive it pretty well. So that's it for now. I'm going.